guys, this is Becca, and this is video 18 of 2018. I finished the animal section of Drawbox, and I moved on to the everyday objects section. Uh, I just want to preface this by saying that after I watched all of the instructional videos and read all the content and looked at the images, I was honestly like depressed. <laughs> I did not want to start this. I was super confused. I felt like there was absolutely no chance of me being able to do this. I just, honestly, I was like, I just don't even want to draw anymore. This is like so discouraging. Um, I just didn't, I didn't even want to try because I thought there was like 100% chance of failure on these, which in the end there actually was 100% failure, but I did eventually get enough sort of willpower to start working on these. And I'm happy to say it was not as bad as I thought. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it was fun because that obviously wasn't the case, but in some ways it was very satisfying to see my improvement over all of the drawings and to get little bits of understanding every time I did a drawing, sort of like getting some of the concept every time and building on those as I moved on. So not fun, can't use that word, but can use satisfying for sure. Um, actually after the first day where my drawings were absolutely terrible, once I just got going, the resistance kind of went away. So that was nice. I was able to just like settle in and think of it as a problem solving thing and an exercise as opposed to just be like, I mean, I was stressed. Like I sat down to draw the first day and I was just like anxious actually, which doesn't really ever happen. So I think this was, I mean, this is exactly the kind of exercise that just thinking about it before I started draw box would have like sent me into just like a deep spiral of death because this stuff is so confusing it's really hard and i think knowing that going in makes it a little bit less painful because you're just like look this this is a really hard thing to do and there are like a million places where you can go wrong you can go wrong when you set up the initial box you can go wrong literally every line you put ripped down and just like in the 250 box challenge one line is wrong and then everything else completely falls apart. So here it's, you know, you have 10 times the number of lines or 100 times the number of lines. So there's 100 more opportunities to make mistakes. So you actually, do you just have to, have to keep yourself to a little bit of a lower standard. So that was great. I felt good about keeping myself to a low standard. Um, you know, there are just a lot of different ways to approach these problems. So you can build them in a box, or you can build them shapes on top of each other, or you can do a mix, or you can try to break things down to really, really specific um, dimensions, I guess, proportions. And you can be as accurate as you want, or I guess as, as directly interpretive as you want. So this is just, I've said this a hundred times already in one video, but it's just really, really hard. Um, and. I mean, at least for me, I can see a lot of improvement from the first one to the end, but there's still like so much I have to learn and to understand and my dexterity needs to improve. I can just see a million places where I can improve. But to finish all of this, I just wanted to say that um, even though this is frustrating for me, if I had tried these exercises before I started Drawbox, I couldn't have even started. Like it would have been a joke. I wouldn't have even known what the first line would be to put down on these. So. While it's hard, I absolutely can see like a huge amount of improvement in my understanding of space. These are just fundamentally different than anything I could have even attempted a couple months ago. So while they're not the best drawings, I will admit, uh, I'm really happy with the progress and that's kind of what I have to keep focusing on, that it's about progress, it's not about perfect drawings, it's about really seeing these areas of improvement that are huge. I mean, honestly, the improvement is huge, at least in my understanding of these things. So. Uh, Frustrating start, but I'm actually feeling a lot better about it now and I, I think once you frame it in a way where you look back at what you were doing before and what you didn't know and what you know now, it's just, you know, it's night and day in terms of uh, the differences there. So I have done enough drawings to submit, but I'm going to continue working on these next week just so that I get a little bit more. I feel like I'm still learning a lot every time I draw something, so I'm going to keep working through these and uh, we'll submit after next week, but I'll have more everyday objects to show next week. Onto the drawings.